Researchers say they've solved the mystery of the origins of the seismic signal that shook the Earth for nine days last September. They've pinned it down to a massive landslide which caused a tsunami in a remote fjord in Greenland. The risk of these Arctic landslides is increasing because of climate change, according to scientists, as Victoria Gill reports. A land continuously carved and moulded by vast glaciers. But in one fjord in the east of Greenland, a seismic event has transformed the landscape here forever. We're seeing here a sort of a simulation of how the seismic signal travelled around the world. When we run this, we'll start to see this wave. This animation shows the signal that baffled scientists for nine days in September of last year. The dots are seismic monitors around the world, picking up vibrations from something happening in Greenland. At the same time that scientists were puzzling over that, a team working in Greenland received a report of a large tsunami in the east of the country. These photographs show what caused it, a huge landslide into this fjord. Look at the mountain top in this image taken before the event. And look at it afterwards. The top of the mountain is gone, collapsed into the fjord, taking part of the glacier with it. The scientists analysed the depth and shape of this narrow 200 kilometre long fjord, and that revealed why the tsunami the landslide caused reverberated around the world for so long. The wave was essentially trapped. The energy of that wave just can't escape. So that wave has to just keep bouncing back and forth, sloshing back and forth in the fjord. It just can't go anywhere. Never before was such a long duration sort of move, large scale movement of water over nine days in this case been observed. Remote as it is, this is a location that cruise ships do visit. Fortunately, no vessels were in the area when the landslide happened. But scientists say the risk of these events is increasing with climate change. This glacier was holding up the mountain. Over decades, it melted and thinned, and eventually millions of cubic metres of rock simply collapsed. It's a destructive side effect of climate change that was felt around the world. Victoria Gill, BBC News.